I'm here at HPE Discover with Songhee, and wireless signals are one of those things that you always want to be faster than they yes, are. Yes, yes, yes. And, and the, the challenge is that the, uh, the 802.11x has, has physical limitations to how yes, much yes. it can do, right? Yeah. So, so what are you guys doing here in HP Labs to make it faster? Okay, so uh, in our labs, uh, in addition to the 802.11ac based Wi-Fi, uh, we also you try to use the additional physical communication technique called the millimeter waves. So basically, uh, Wi-Fi has been limited by the bandwidth of the around the 300 megabps or 400 megabps, but that is not sufficient for the new applications such as uh, augmented reality and virtual reality. Uh, on the other hand, using the millimeter wave, we can achieve the multi gigabps wireless capacity. So this is uh, much quite huge. It's just even larger than Ethernet. But the problem is it has some kind of fundamental instability. So the signal is easily blocked by the human body. So it always requires a line of sight. So, so far, this millimeter wave has been mostly used for the very short distance communication and replacing the HDMI cable. But now we want to use it for the enterprise networking then how do we address this uh, fundamental instability issue? So we combine this millimeter wave with uh, traditional Wi-Fi. So by doing this, given this uh, disconnection in the millimeter wave, we can always use this uh, Wi-Fi as a backup. So here we prepare two uh, demos. So in one demo, uh, given the disconnection of this uh, millimeter wave, we quickly migrate the traffic to Wi-Fi so that the user does not experience any disconnection and the delay in their connectivity. And in another, another demo here, we use the both of the 60 GHz and Wi-Fi at the same time so that it can achieve the much higher cap bandwidth capacity. Also, uh, we always get some minimum bandwidth support from Wi-Fi, even though there are some kind of fluctuation in the 60 GHz channel. So, so breaking this down is something that people might, uh, might make sense. Um, Right now, in like in my cell phone, mm -hmm. I have cases where I might be on Wi-Fi and okay. cases where I might be on LTE, right? Ah, okay, okay. And so, is, is that a similar type of scenario that you're talking uh, about? Okay, this case and that case is conceptually a little bit different. Actually, LTE and Wi-Fi, in that case, they are totally managed by different uh, networks. So, LTE is man managed by the telco company and Wi-Fi is managed by the local a corporate network. In that case, it's really kind of difficult to merge them together. But in the cases, this case is different. So the a single AP have the both of the 60 gigahertz and the Wi-Fi interface. So we can easily integrate the both of them in the link layer without changing anything in the network architecture or something. So by developing new device driver and the networking bonding driver, we can integrate the both of the interfaces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Got it. That, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of easier to implement and easier to deploy. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.